the most insane two months of my entire life, but um, I'm feeling so grateful and so excited for what's to come. And yeah, it's, it's been just crazy. I just say that over and over again, but it's just truly like crazy. I, I, I can't really wrap my head around all of it. Do you remember your first heartbreak? If not, 18-year-old Olivia Rodrigo's first single driver's license might evoke some vague memories. Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about some rude fans hating on Olivia Rodrigo for her recently released song. Before we begin, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss any of our videos. Olivia Rodrigo released the song Driver's License in January and it spread like wildfire. Four days later, it broke the Spotify record for the longest series of one-day Christmas songs. The next day, she broke the record again. Number one in the UK and number nine in the USA after 10 weeks. It's been streamed almost 1.9 billion times. A week later, she released her debut album Sour, which is a well-written and hilarious satire based on romantic betrayal. Even in this age of viral power pop, Rodrigo grows rapidly. She's been homeschooling long before the epidemic, and she's been a Disney star since 2016. Olivia Rodrigo questioned whether her unconventional life would make her songwriting irrational. She said, I remember looking at it that way. It's a normal experience that we're all going through and making it really beautiful and artistic. I've always wanted to write a record like this, but it never felt like a normal experience of life. Olivia recently sat down for a chat and became clear about her decision to write a song about lost love and boys' worries. The rising star made this clear in an interview with The Guardian and highlighted her decision to write a song about love and boys. She said, I'm a teenage girl. I write about things that make me feel really strong and I feel my heartbeat and pity really intensely and I think it's authentic and natural. Ever since Driver's License came out, I feel like people were very like, oh, she's like a little sad ballad girl. And I love writing sad ballads. That's like my fave thing ever. But I, I think that's a misconception because I think I write a lot of different types of songs and I have a lot to say that is not about boys. We've recently seen lots of fans on Twitter trying to defame Olivia. If one thing's for sure, it's that she does not deserve this random hatred. So what? She blew up overnight. She has really great marketing, so she's doing better on the charts than BTS. She is barely an 18-year-old girl who is a talented singer, and you come here and post hateful tweets about her. I don't really understand what people want me to write, she said in an interview. Would you like me to write a song about income tax? How do I write an emotional song about that? She also said, Something I'm really proud of is that this record talks about emotions that are hard to talk about or aren't really socially acceptable, especially for girls. Anger, jealousy, spite, sadness, they're frowned upon as bitchy and moaning and complaining or whatever, but I think they're such valid emotions. When Rodrigo meets a newcomer, she always asks if they have any ghost stories. I suggest that Sour has her own collection of that. I'm literally obsessed with it. I never thought about it, but I'll use it now. Yeah, I think my life is over now. Look back on those memories and find out. It's good that they're not real yet, and they're happening, but you still have to try them. How does it feel for you to just then now have so many people making assumptions about your life based on the lyrics in this song? Like millions of people. Uh, yeah. Um... I mean, it's kind of funny to me. I think my life is fairly boring, so it's like kind of funny to see people kind of speculate about all that stuff. But um, Shortly after Driver's License was issued to the world, speculation began that Rodrigo was singing about her interest in Coasters and Joshua Bassett. Although their relationship has never been confirmed, the pair were rumored to be dating behind the scenes, until Rodrigo posted a TikTok entitled, And That's on Failed Relationships. However, when Rodrigo was asked to be the source of his pain, she died. I fully understand people's curiosity about the features of the song and what it's about, but to me, it's really the least important part of the song. It resonates with people because of how emotional it is, and I don't think everything else matters. Or your songs in connection to Olivia Rodrigo's driver's license, you know, what do you respond, you know, what's your response to that? Uh, there's no response <laughs> to be made. All I will say is, you know, 
it, that's her story to tell. You know, whatever whatever the song is to her is, is her thing to tell. So I'll let her do that. But I would say uh, I hope people. Rodrigo does not regret leaving this part of her life behind. She speaks, old memories are not her style. I always wanted to grow because I think you will get better with age and know who you are. I feel like I'm getting old. I can't wait to write it in albums either. It's my favorite part about songwriters like Taylor Swift because you grow up with them. In general, Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo's extremely tight ends have somewhat reversed the patch, but mostly Taylor Swift fans are upset with Olivia after she sent a sour PR box to Kim Kardashian. Despite the fact that Kim and Taylor are beefing in the infamous era, Kim posted a video on her Instagram story showing some gifts from Olivia and captioned it, How cute is Olivia Rodrigo, you guys? You guys know I love driver's license. Along with the gifts, Olivia also wrote a note to Kim. Thank you so much for supporting my music. That means the absolute world. I just like you and I wanted to give you some stuff to celebrate the release of my one album, Sovereign. Sending so much love to you and your family. As a reminder, Taylor has a tumultuous relationship with Kim's ex-husband Kanye West. So now, Taylor Swift fans are angry at Olivia, who is a big fan of Taylor, is sending merchant notes. In response, many Swifties discussed Olivia's recent Instagram post and started commenting with snake emojis, an unofficial symbol of Taylor and Kim's feud. In response, Rodrigo recently called it a crash course in adulthood. With a kindly eye roll, she says, At 18, having the biggest song in the world, finishing its album, and going its own place in a few weeks. It's a lot of time like a gentle move for my parents, but I like to be alone, and I like my loneliness. You know, I just, I'm a songwriter and, you know, you, you write a song and you do the best that you can and you put it out into the universe and whatever happens after that is, you know, none of your concerns. So it's, it's everybody else's song now, it's not mine. <laughs> I have to just let it go, right? Let yeah. It go. yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, that's all for today. What do you guys have to say about Olivia Rodrigo facing this type of hate from her fans? Is it true or a little bit too harsh? Don't forget to tell us your views on this incident by commenting below the video. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you will never miss an amazing video from us. 